So here come the number five seeds from Thailand. Sukit Prakamol and Saur Ali Tong Tong Camp. So here come the defending champions. They're also the All England champions. Tantoe, Ahmad, and Liliana Natsia. Liliana Natsia, what a career she's had already. She's only 26 years of age. Olympic silver, two world titles, two gold medals at world championships. With, of course, her previous partner, Nova Widianto, with whom she played for seven years. World number one with Nova Widianto, of course. So, Tantoe Ahmad and Liliana Natsia up against Sukit Prakamol and Sara Lee from Tongkam. So the number five seeds introduced to the crowd, first of all. Last year's champions here to defend their title. It was here a year ago that Tantoe Akhmad and Liliana Natsia won their first ever Super Series title. They beat teammates Frank Kuni Arwen and Pierre Bernadette in the final 12 months ago. But for the Indonesians, this is their third final of the year in their previous two finals. And they've won them both. So a 100% record as far as finals are concerned this year. For the Thailand pair this is their second final of the year, their first final, the Swiss Grand Prix. That's that final to their opponents of today. So Sukit Prakamol on the left as we look at them. Sara Lee from Tongkam on the right, both 32 years of age. Sara Lee from Bangkok and Sukit from Chonburi. And as you can see, number nine in the world ranking. They have been as high as two. Seeded five, and they just have a positive win-loss record for the year, which translates into reaching that final I was talking about in the Swiss Grand Prix semi-final in Germany. And apart from that, I have to say, they've been a little bit disappointing because only once prior to this tournament have they lived up to their seeding position. In fact, this India Open is the first Super Series event this year that they've been beyond the first round. So the defending champions, Tantoe Ahmad and Liliana Natsia. Tantoe Ahmad, 24 years of age. Liliana Natsia. 26 from Manado in the north of North Sulawesi. And that win loss record for the year, not correct because I can tell you that they played four tournaments and they've won two titles one semi final and one quarter final. So it's certainly not a 0 0 win loss record for the year. This the third time that these two pairs met each other and as I've just mentioned the last time they met was in the final of the Swiss Grand Prix earlier this year. Hi. So our court initials as with all Super Series events from all around the world Germany and China. Yeah. 
crewed up and Neeson. There's Coach Udom. He's a real character. He waits till the match gets underway. He will be very animated in the way he speaks to his players. He is very expressive. Whereas the Indonesian coach, well, she's much more laid back. I thought she did get a little emotional, I have to say, when this pair won the All England title in March last month. So last year's champions get this final underway. So Number open. two seeds, Tantori Akhlad and Lilian, and that's it. An immediate misjudgment from Tantori. Well, if you were with us yesterday and Friday of course you will have seen Sukit Prakamal and Sara Lee from Tongkam in both their quarter final and semi final and I was saying during those matches how nice it was to see them back in real form and to see the intensity with which they played this tournament a lot more focused and a lot more urgency about their style of play than we've seen at one or two tournaments and that is delightful to see. Flick serve is long of the double Plays service over. line. Thailand who started this match as they finished yesterday's Four great two. form. Yeah, and Tantari Akhmad has made several errors right at the start of this Five final. Two. have a very, very good smash. Great and when point. that is flowing, sets up his partner so often at the net. Oh, my goodness. The net cords from Ahmad. Well, it looks so out of position. He did well to reach it, but to control it as well. That's phenomenal. Oh, and another net cord for which they apologise. You've got to ride your luck, though. Pretty wide. And the back level... Yeah, I told you. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a lot more animated than that. Yeah, they've 
that powerful smash again. It's good placement too. Seven, six. Across the body of Sara Lee. Tip because the lift here Eight, is just too short. You can tell by it. You can tell your upward speed. It is nowhere near the back of the court. A sensational rally. All four players playing some wonderful shots. Good Lily on and that's it. Nine all. He it, had a broken string in his racket. All she really needed to do was hit it back in his direction. is continuing here in the next Nine all. Oh, Seven, oh, oh a service fault was called well Lily on and that's it was completely deceived Come on, I told you to keep that racket head pointing in a downward direction. Oh, I do love watching him. He's a great character. Had a very enjoyable trip with him on a, a bus to the airport in the Danish Open a couple of years ago. Oh, no service short of the mark. Ten 
No short. Oh my goodness, that's so loose from Santori Ahmad. And it really got what it deserved. I wonder if he changed his mind there. For whatever the reason, it was a woeful shot. And it is the number five seeds from Thailand who have the advantage of the mid-game interval. But it could not be closer. And there's got to be at least one point in it. And that's all there is. Yes, and I'm sure that's going to be the tactic of both players is to try and push the woman back from the net because both Liliana Natsia and Sara Lee are excellent front court players. And whichever of those two players start dominating the front of the court, I think that pair will win the match. Yep. My point demonstrated so clearly in that rally. As soon as Sara Lee was pushed back from the net, they were in trouble. desperate to try and rush the 14, low serve. 13. Yeah, it's a good little spell of serving from Ahmad. 15, 13. Yes, very good indeed. Good serving. Kind of unpair. Can't attack the shuttle. And then Liliana Natsu. Oh dear, he doesn't like it at all, does he? <laughs> oh, that's gone wide. Yeah, I was going to say Liliana Natsu hunting the net area. Now oh, he's getting incensed. straight points. Seven straight points. 
when 11 14 adrift piling on the pressure at exactly the right moment oh, brilliant good little push down into the tram lines initially and the way she finished off the rally, absolutely superb. It's no wonder she's twice been world champion. Oh, this is extraordinary. Nine straight points and now seven game points oh that's nice so it's over. Oh, my goodness 14, mate. 20. Oh, good flick sir from Sarah Lee is the youngest player on court at the age of 24 and I have to say that when I first start, started watching him on the world stage when he first started playing with Liliana Natsit I did think there was occasions where his inexperience showed in that he'd take his foot off the pedal when in a winning position try and do something a little bit too clever allow opponents back in There's a big gap, and that's well found by Tantoi Ahmad. Well, he found his focus. He's gained a lot of experience. He's matured considerably as a player, having played now with Liliana Natsir for more than a year. Yeah, well placed, good vision, calmly played into the open space. And the opening game, 21-16 in 17 minutes. Information that the open game went to the defending champions last year's winners, Tantoi Akhmad and Liliana Natsi. And it was that run of nine straight points from 11 13 down to 20 13 up that Second really game. did all the damage. What an Lobo. excellent spell from the All England champions.
Uh, so wonderful smash from Ahmad. Appeared to be off balance when he played that. And he played it to perfection. That's a good return of serve. Nicknamed Turtle by his teammates. There's rather a lot of quick serving going on in the Thailand pair. Oh, that's delightful. Exquisite shot. Leaps in the air and then slices across the feathers, bringing it down so steeply. Oh. So strong from the back of the court, Liliana Natsia. Actually won a Super Series event in women's doubles, China Masters in 2007. And 2008, Indonesia. Super Series event as well. Doesn't play women's doubles anymore. Just concentrates on the mix. It was a nice defence from Sara Lee. Smashed down her forehand side. This time she's alert to it. Five, three. Thailand. Oh, but there's another flick to her. It's gone along of the double service line. It's not how you start though, it's how you finish. been going wide. Oh, that's brilliant. What a shot from Sukit Clap Brackamol. He's always an interesting player to watch. He always does the unexpected. Wanders round the courts as if he hasn't a care in the world, and then once the rally starts, springs into action. Look 
Wicket is serving. There's the umpire just pointing out that Sara Lee wasn't the server. It's Sukit. Landed in misjudgment from Santoi Ahmad. Eight five. Oh, nice play from Sara Lee using the mid-court area so effectively. Nine, five. That's a little push past Liliana at the front of the court, but really making Tantui Ahmad lunge forward. Oh, it's a good return of serve. the back line. Ten, six. Well, because the shuttle had gone past up, Sara Lee to play that backhand. But it pays dividends because they have a five point advantage at the mid game interval, the number five seeds from Thailand. Nine total this Indonesian pair and one together. Three of them super series. Thailand pair. 20 seconds. Six titles together over the nine years that they've been playing together. And just one Super Series. That was the 2010 French Open. That's a real missed opportunity from Tantoi Ahmad. Oh, sat up nicely for him. Yeah, that's the return of serve to the mid-court area again. Down the tram line, you see it really is so effective. So a bit of a bit bad spell, isn't he? From Zoe Ahmad. 13, 7. Yeah. 
she's standing her ground, she's hunting the shuttle, and she's been helped on a couple of occasions by very loose shots from Tantoi Akhmad. mistakes as well. Perhaps a reflection of her frustration that her partner has just lost his focus. Oh, there's another. Dear, dear me. Eight-point eight advantage now for number five seeds. that come from that was superb how did he generate that power oh shot of the match so far Thailand fans are here in force. 18, nine. Three points away from forcing his final to a third and deciding game. Well, crowd loving it the prospects of a decider but I have to say really have I seen Liliana that's it make so many errors at the front of the court what a contrast to the opening game out attack by the pair from Thailand forcing the Indonesians to defend and it's now 10 game point opportunities to level the Indonesians in the wrong formation 10 opportunities to take this second game from the number 5 seeds from Thailand Sorry, Lee, saying she wasn't ready. Twelve twenty. 
Well, what was I saying a little earlier about losing his focus and letting opponents back in? And more than back in, they've leveled their final at one game apiece. It is one game all, and we will be treated to a third and deciding game. What a turnaround in fortune that second game was. Seconds, seconds. Thoroughly deserved by the number five seed, Sukhip Prakamol and Sarali from Tonkam. Changes. I mean, it's going to be absolutely crucial because unless Kantori Ahmad can rekindle the sort of form he showed in the opening game, I think his partner could get oh. a little bit frustrated. I and mean, that certainly helped the Indonesian cause. need to be, to be mocked of the perspiration. Asian champions, this pair from Thailand, back in 2005. One all. That will reach the consecutive finals of the Asian Championships. Play. Last week at the Asian Championships in Chindao, they lost in the first round. and I think from their perspective that really is essential. Oh, that was going out. Oh, got away with it, folks. Oh, 
more defence from the Indonesian and more attacking play from the Thailand pair. short yeah got what it deserved in the opening game on the Akman serve. Oh, it's turned that game around. Oh, another good serve from him here in the decider. Oh, dear. Serves over. Oh, there's me singing his praises about his serving. And makes the error. his partner into the rally more puts pressure on opponents yeah. positive on defence rushes forward six all yeah. Indonesians Back looking aggressive again. Too passive in that second game. Too in large part, I have has to be said, because of the quality play of the Thailand pair. All level. Oh, no service short. Seven's over. Seven, six. Happy with the shuffle. Oh, another serve. So He's so short of the mark. Eight, seven.
that's a clever, clever smash from Sarah Lee. Saw that Ahmad was waiting, committed to his forehand, backhand defence and hit down towards his right shoulder, making him play forehand. Shot, I think from from Tully Ahmad. And the opposing man is standing at the nets. Really dangerous, perhaps to play back to him. <laughs> Lovely change of pace. Uh, super shot from Nine, ten. Ahmad. Indicative of the man in the way. Either out of brilliance or a very average shot. And I have to say, when they won the All England title last month, there was an awful lot of what a brilliance from Tantoi Ahmad. And Liliana Nazia, of course, so experienced and such wonderful racket head control. get the opportunity to hit in the downward direction, especially with Tentoe Ahmad using his powerful angled smash. Really does have a dramatic influence on the rally. One game all, ten all. Good return of serve. Oh. And it's the yeah, Indonesians who come from behind on a run of three straight points who have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Change the players end. change ends. Who's going to hold their nerve? Yeah. Well, I was saying it has a dramatic influence on the rally. In Tento, Ahmad. Uses that powerful smash. Four straight points now. Make that five straight points. Well, once again, as it was in the opening game, it's on the Santori Akbar serve. Uh, six 
great points. fives between the two Indonesian players. So it really is a trait of champions, the ability to suddenly up your game at the crucial moment. Oh, this is extraordinary. It's gone long. And when the point comes to an end, you're not full time if you're a Thailand fan. 17 the sort of form that they showed in the opening game now. Sort of positive aggression. And three points away from their third title of the year. Shows over. 13-18. Not only would it be a third title of the year, I feel this is far from over yet, it would be a third title in three tournaments played. Oh, that's a lovely drop. Oh, she's missed it! Oh, and that could be very, very 19, costly. 13. Yeah, but the attacking play from Tantoi Ahmad making the difference in the rally once again. It is six match point opportunities for last year's champions to defend their title. Only needed the one retained the title that was their first ever Super Series title a year ago. A year on and this their fourth Super Series title. Well, Indonesians strangely Next passive in the second game. Thank you. 
and a little bit erratic as well. But their confirmation that they've retained their title. 21-16, 12-21, 21-14 in the deciding game in 54 minutes. Once again, confirmation that the number two seeds, Tantoi, Akbar, and Liliana Natsi, have won their second consecutive India Open title, their third title of 2012 in three tournaments played. Their last three tournaments, and as you can see, needed three games to do it. So the prize presentation just about to take place for the second of our finals here this afternoon at the Yonix Sunrise India Open and it's the mixed doubles and as we've just witnessed Tantoi Akhmad and Liliana Natsi have taken their third title of the year and for Sukhet Prakamol and Sara Lee Thong Tonkan there they are for the second time this year have to settle for second best and for the second time this year are beaten in a final by the Indonesian combination Akhmad and Natsia. So can we present before you the winners of Mixed Doubles and they are Tontoui Ehmer and Liliana Natsia Indonesia. So to the champions once again. It all started for them here a year ago as far as Super, Science, Super Series titles are concerned. This, this year their fourth Super Series title to go along with the one a year ago and also Singapore last year and of course the All England Championship earlier this year. That was their first Premier Super Series event. Well, they will be full of confidence. Didn't play the Asian Championships last week. And now in three tournaments played the All England, the Swiss and now the Indian Super Series. They've won their last three tournaments that they have contested. So OSIM, the title sponsors of the entire Super Series, all 12 tournaments and the Super Series finals, of course, also making a presentation. 